Good morning. Yes, we are out here at the Cheney Care Center and I am sitting next to the woman on the front page of the Spokesman Review this morning. This is Flossie Dickey and check it out folks. We got her her very own Good Day Spokane coffee mug. She is enjoying some coffee this morning because Flossie, you say you're a little tired this morning. Is that right? I am tired. She is very tired. That's actually, I heard, your favorite activity to do at the center here is to take, take a little nap. Take a nap many times as I can. As many times as she can, she likes to take, uh, take a nap. Flossie has three children. You have 12 grandchildren, 20 great-grandchildren, and 15 great-great-grandchildren. You sound like a very busy lady. Yes, she has, she has lived in multiple places um, in the Northwest, even lived in Arizona. She's originally from Oregon. That's where she was born. And Flossie, this morning, we also have some flowers that we would like to give you. She got her nails done. I don't know if you can see, but they're a beautiful pink. Pink and purple, we heard, were your favorite colors. So I'm just going to set those on your lap for you. All right. <laughs> and... Um, they won't stay. I'll hold them. How about that? So that they stay. Later today, Flossie's family is going to be coming out here to throw you a big birthday party. Are you excited for your party? Not one bit. <laughs> <laughs> what would you ra you would rather be taking a nap, huh? Oh my goodness. The Flossie, the people on TV want to know what the secret is to being able to live so long. I don't know. I don't fight it. I live it. She doesn't fight it. She lives it. And that's what her uh, granddaughter actually said to me. When people ask her that, she says she just lives. Uh, any secret food or anything we can all be eating every day to, to stay as alive as long as you? No. Nope, just live it. But so how is it that these two are roaming their neighborhood, frightening the locals, and the council isn't stopping it? Now yesterday morning, I came out into the front yard and the dogs were across the road. And as soon as they saw me, they came bounding over. <laughs>...through Northwest Jackson to toss cars and 18 wheelers around and destroyed homes. 16 WAPT's Make Pace was there right after the storm. What was going through your mind? I don't know. I don't feel like that. Eric Hubbard was sitting in a friend's car eating lunch when Friday's tornado came barreling toward them. It was skinning and it got, it got big going up. Dog and it hit the ground and kept coming up. I couldn't get the car run in. Hubbard thought about making a run for his house, but his friend talked him out of it. And I was scared. I was finna eat a hamburger. It took it. And I don't even know where it's at. It took your hamburger out hamburger of your hand. I don't know where it's at. Let me get everything right. Say your first and last name, please. Let me know when you're ready now. Yeah, we're ready. Yeah, say and spell your first and last name, please. What you want me to start off? Say and spell your first and last name, please. What? Say and spell your first and last name. Okay. They call me Handman. Okay. All right. What's your, what's your, what's your real name? Ozell Gary. Okay, will you spell your first real name? Huh? Spell your first last name. First you can't name. read? My oh. name is Ozell Gary. Okay, well, I need to know how to spell it. Well, I'm just letting you know. I'm down here from Detroit, Michigan. Okay. I born and raised him. Okay. I live here in 30... Three years. I thought things might would change, but I see it ain't changing okay. no more. Can I, can I get you to spell your name for me, please? O Z E W. I just told you. Okay. Will you spell your last name? J I Y. Okay. 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 So, okay. so were you here yesterday when the storm came? Well, no, I wasn't here. Ain't okay. no damn good. I tell you the faith. Ain't no damn good. Okay, they look out for the white people, but they don't look out for the black. Look at Bummer. They hate Bummer cause he's black. They don't. They don't work with Bummer. They work against him. You see what I'm talking about? They ain't no damn good. I hope Bummer just you forget about it. Well, let's let's talk more about the storm. You guys are without power. But that's God's work. But I would just say that's God's work. God just showing them that he's the boss. They take their own word. They don't own right. themselves. God own them. God can pop their finger and they be dead. Okay, but God give them a change. Thought they might change. But they ain't going to change. They ain't nothing going to change. They damn it but death. Yeah. Okay. But I just told that God's word. I understand that, 
on. Well, yeah, but I was just saying. No, I know. She ain't gonna never change. Ain't nothing gonna change. I'm a devil. I just told you. I know. Well, do you have anything else that we left out about the storm? I ain't no food. We ain't got like. See, these my nieces. I got to say what to say. They just bought just bought food, all that meat stuff. They gonna go down the dream. See what I'm talking? Is they gonna pay for the food? Hell no. They black. They might pay for the white food, but they ain't gonna pay for the black food. They don't give a damn. We appreciate you talking with us. I'm, I don't say it all I got to say. No, I know. A lot of people like to hold back, but I don't hold back nothing. I, I take not. just like it is. I'm getting the hell out of him. I ain't going to stay here. Good. You should. <laughs> I wouldn't want to stay here. Either. Hell no. Y'all put him on the news, too. I don't hold back nothing. My mama didn't let me say what I had to say. Don't hold back nothing. You want me to do one for you? Yes, ma'am. Terrifying moments for a woman who woke up to a strange man in bed with her. The woman screamed. Her brother rushed in to help and tried to fight the offender off. That break-in happened early this morning in the 500 block of Webster Drive in Huntsville. WFF 48's Elizabeth Gentle caught up with the victim. Elizabeth's emotions were running high. And Mark, the woman, the victim, tells us that a man broke into her house and tried to rape her. Her brother went in and he tried to help her out, but the man got away, leaving behind, though, evidence of his visit. Dodson struggled with her attacker, knocking over items in her bedroom. Antoine Dodson heard his sister scream and ran to help. Well, obviously we have a rapist in Lincoln Park. He's climbing in your windows. He's snatching your people up trying to rape them, so y'all need to hide your kids, hide your wife, and hide your husband because they're raping everybody out here. The attacker got loose and went out the upstairs window, but he did leave something behind. We got your t-shirt, you didn't left fingerprints and all. You are so dumb. You are really dumb, for real. Dodson says he's never seen the perp before, but sends this warning to whoever is responsible. You don't have to come and confess that you did it. We're looking for you. We, we gonna find you. I'm letting you know now. So you can run and tell that, homeboy. Uh, I was at the house, and I was, uh, me and my mom, and I was sitting in front of the window texting, and she told me, like, she was like, get up out the, uh, get up right in front of the window, uh, come, come back in, uh, it's a tornado watch. And I came, I came, uh, at, from the tornado watch, and, uh, sh and, 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 and it started, I heard wind, Woo! the house got to shaking and everything. I was in the quarters, you know, we call that the dark side, the quarters. It's over that way, East Harder. And uh, she like uh, get out the window, get out the window. And, uh, I, I get away from the window, what up and what not. And my uh, my her husband step uh, look outside the door, open the door, and the door open. Wind just come flying everywhere. Woo, 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 woo. And uh, we 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 duck and hide. You know what I'm saying? But the park is still flooded, so you'll see kids out yeah. there again. Some today, of those sure. kids today will be my co-hosts. Just ago. like, <laughs> dude, you got the best barrels ever, dude. Just like you pull in and you just get spit right out of them. You just drop in and just smack the lip, whoop, drop down, snap, and then after that, you just drop in, just ride the barrel and get pitted, so pitted like that.